evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the day of the video down has good today. Today I told myself I was going to vlog a little bit more than normal and I didn't vlog when I went shopping. So that was all we did today, which is fun. Um, bank holiday Monday today and it was raining and miserable all day long. Almost, well yeah, for the start of the day wasn't it? and then it like brightened up towards the end of the afternoon. Um, so we got up this morning, well Laura woke me up this morning because I was a log again. Um, I've got to get back into a routine of when you go back to work I'll get back into a routine of waking up early because um, then I need to be able to when you go back to work I'm going to go back up to work but at my office so we had a relatively chilled out relaxed day today we haven't really had much to do we slowly got ready um, and we headed out to go shopping we went uh, food shopping because we always go shop food shopping on a Monday but we had to go earlier today because it's bank holiday um, and we thought we'd go and get some lunch stuff as well um, and we went to, like, uh, Asda and the lot and thingy, we went around the sports shop and pets at home and looked at all the cute hamsters and stuff, like normal. Um, and we did some shopping, dodged the M32, the M32 was rammed, uh, coming southbound towards the city centre. So we're like, yeah, we'll get on Gloucester Road. Uh, and it was empty, it was dead, wasn't it? <laughs> so you just cruise down the M uh, thingy, or you'd been crawling down the M32. Um, obviously, cruise down means 20 mile an hour, but anyway, um, it was much better than sitting in traffic. Um, but yeah, so we came back, and we've been chilling, really. We watched um, the Hunger Games, the second Hunger Games, and just sat chilling and relaxing. I've been working on my um, surface, again, in fact, I need to do a video description, I might just, I'd log on and do that. Um, I've been... In fact, that reminds me, I was going to actually upload them, wasn't I? Um, I was working on my final um, reporting, reports stuff for um, uh, uni, because obviously I've got to do reports for my placement stuff. Um, and I was just finishing them off, I was just finishing off the final one that I had to do, um, which is like the light, like, uh, oh, how good is your communication skills? Give an example. How would you improve? <laughs> no, how are you going to improve? It makes no sense, I've finished. How, do I, how am I supposed to improve? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, so I'm going to fill those up now. So what, what folder are they in? Are they in this folder? On my... I think they're in two different places, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do this. And then otherwise I've been sat and I've been blogging. I got back into blogging again today. I'm in the process of writing the video that I'm making for the Surface. Um, so I've been like playing with it and I'm only really doing basic stuff with it because um, I don't really want to... Hold on, mind. Um, I don't really want to like start installing programming stuff, although I will do that eventually. It depends on whether I'm keeping it or not, um, whether I'm going to install things like Visual Studio and stuff, because um, DreamSpark and MSDN stuff, I think I have limited number of downloads. And I want Visual Studio 2013 Ultimate, but I don't think that's on DreamSpark anymore. I think it's just 2000, well, you can get 2013, but you can't get the Ultimate version. That's what I want. I don't actually like 2015 because it doesn't have StyleCop. But anyway, uh, that's a rant for another day. Um, people think the StyleCop project's been abandoned, which is really sad. Um, oh no, I don't want to do that. I just want to download it somehow. I don't want to download. I want to upload it, not download it. Nine, nine, nine. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of doing generic, boring stuff with it. And I guess that's good because I'm, I'm going to do a, it's an a impressions video. Although it's going to be a, an unboxing slash impression video with a twist. It's still with my own like style over it. I'm actually enjoying writing the blog and putting my own like satirical look on the world. Um, so um, I'm actually quite enjoying that. It's quite difficult though because the more I use it it's just going to turn into a full scale review and I'm saving that for a proper review. Because I've seen online as well people have reviewed the Surface but only with Windows 8. And now Windows 10's out, I think it's insanely more improved. Because um, you can essentially turn off all that tablet shit, you can just use it as a computer. Um, so okay. um, and I, I do feel like I'm very opinionated on this laptop. I feel like I'd be really good at reviews full stop for computers, to be honest with you. I think I'd be pretty good at it. Although, to be fair, how do you review a laptop? You just touch it, don't you? As soon as you... You can't... You've got to properly use stuff to be able to properly review it. And mm. Can you properly use... No, you can't. Exactly. And but to be fair, the only difference between laptops is the hardware. Mm. Like you can only review Windows 10 once, and then you'd be like, right, okay. Because yeah. we when we did what was on the day, we had to do like review five different laptops, and four of the laptops were all Windows 10. One of them was the Surface, so it was a bit different. 
So really, he was just reviewing the hardware, and I'm like, I haven't touched this hardware, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, features? It's a laptop. <sighs> um, anyway, but I think I'd be quite good at doing like reviews of laptops and stuff, because I just get... I say good at reviewing it. I think I'll probably be good at reviewing it in a funny way. <laughs> I really enjoy this, but I, I, it's genuinely, even though it's a shit boring unboxing, I'm, I'm twisting it so it's going to be good, because otherwise I'll film the unboxing and be like, nah, that's crap, and bin it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to finish off doing that now. What was I doing with my day? I was telling you, yeah, I was doing that, and then we had dinner, um, and then we just went out for a walk because it was drier and drying up. We walked around the block and came back, and we're about to watch Dragon's Den because it's Monday, and we always watch Dragon's Den on a Monday, and Breaking Bad because we're addicted. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's been it for today. Tomorrow we have more of an agenda for the next two days. We've got house viewings to go to, and we're going to the bank to set up a joint account because we're adults now. That's what we do. <laughs> Kind of official, then, isn't it? It's like the first official spark of debate. Spark debate. When they try and give me a contactless card, and I'm like, no, I don't want a contactless card. Oh, what spark of debate about? Oh, we won't have a debate about the joint account, will we? Oh, I don't want your opinions on joint accounts. Well, yeah, whether we should have joint account or not. You're all wrong. The way I run a joint account, we're basically running the joint account like. Um, how we run it in second year, didn't we? How did you do? You did bills, just one person paid it, didn't yeah. you, more or less? Whereas we, in second year, we put in like £10 a week into a joint account, and then all the bills got paid with the £10 a week, and then at the end, we just split the money five ways, instead of mm. paying them as they came, basically. It meant that you always knew how much was going out every month, instead of suddenly being hit by a £300 gas bill. Um, so essentially, how we're treating our joint account, we put in enough money to pay the bills and get food. And then we have our own separate accounts where we have our own money. We're not throwing all our eggs into one <laughs> one bank account. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we're going to go set up a joint bank account. And we are going to go see one house viewing tomorrow. The yep. one that should have been on Saturday. Oh, that one. We're going there. That'll be good stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get good and vlog more. I promise. I'm going to get back on it because we're going back to university now. I'm not at work every day. I don't have to vlog at the end of the day anymore. We can vlog throughout it. Um, but yeah, we've also got house viewings again on Wednesday. We might find out about the one we've already put an offer on tomorrow. We should find out something. We should find out something, whether we got it or not. <sighs> Any time will tell. Just kind of forget it happened, don't you? Mm. Don't even remember applying. <laughs> so, don't care, don't care what you say about it. Um, but yeah. So that's tomorrow. Um, otherwise, I am literally in the process of writing content so that as soon as Laura goes back to work, I can start filming the main channel in the daytime. Um, unless I might film something midweek, to be honest with you, if we're, we start running out of things to do, I might film something Friday. It's like, Bub, do you mind hiding for 30 minutes while I talk like a buffoon to a camera? Thank you. Um, but yeah, so that's all. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know why you did, but thanks anyway. Um, I'll catch you later.